Hi yogis, the following class was recorded live online um, during the COVID-19 quarantine period. I had several students that were joining me um, virtually live, but they also, some asked to record it because they couldn't always join live and uh, put it on YouTube and so that they could take it later. So that's what you're about to engage in. I hope you um, you have a good time. It is an intermediate power flow class, um, but modifications are offered. Take your time. Pause me if you need to. Uh, you don't have to do everything I like cue. Just do your best. Namaste. See you on the mat. Let's all find a, a comfortable child's pose. Um, knees apart. Feet together. Let's sit back on our heels, bring our forehead to the mat, and then stretch your fingertips out in front of you nice and long. Let's, let's really lengthen the spine from the tailbone right to the top of the head. Good, good lengthening here. And then start to bring awareness to your breath. Right, gently in and out of your nose. And then inhale in through the nose. Keep your mouth gently closed and exhale side everything out of your nose. Inhaling in through the nose, filling all the way up. Nice big inhale, hold at the top for three, two, one. Exhale everything out. Okay. One more deep inhale in, filling up all the way up, all the way to the top. And then exhale everything out. All right, just come back to your normal pace of breathing, gently in and out of your nose. Let's go ahead and walk your fingertips over towards the right side of the mat. And <clears throat> maybe they come off the mat. Over to the right, extend the left hand over the right hand and then sink the left hip back, right? Stretching out that left side of the body. Bring the left fingers all the way to the left hip. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, and then take a deep inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back. To the opposite side of the mat, the left side of the mat. Maybe you come off the mat, put the right hand over the left as you sink the right hip all the way back. Nice big long line and stretch, right? All the way on the right side of the body. Gently inhaling and exhaling out of the nose. Take that right shoulder still curving down the back and stretch it out. <clears throat> Okay, and then let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, walk your hands back towards the center. <clears throat> let's make our way up onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position. All right, make sure your shoulders are over your wrist and your hips are over your knees. We're gonna do a few cat cows here. You're gonna inhale, your gaze up, your tailbone up, drop your belly. Exhale, press into the mat, round your spine, throw up your head. Inhaling in, gaze up, tailbone up, drop the belly into your calf. Exhale, press and round into your calf. All right, inhaling in, gaze up, tailbone up. Exhaling, press and round. All right, come back to a neutral flat back. Bring your knees and your feet to touch, all right? Your toes are tucked. 
Your head and neck is long. Your hands are still on your shoulders. Engage your low belly. You're just gonna lift your knees off the ground a couple of inches. This is core work, right? But your ankles, calves, and knees are squeezing together. Holding here, working that core. Swing both of your knees over towards the right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, swing your knees over to the left. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the left. Take a deep inhale. Over to the right on the exhale. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the left. All right, bring your knees back to center. Step the left foot straight back. Put the toes on the ground. Bring the right knee in up to your chest in a hanging plank. Round your back, drop your head. Like you're kissing your right knee, turning that, that core on. This is called a hanging plank. Take a deep inhale, exhale, step the right foot back to meet the left in a high plank. If you need to modify, feel free to take a kneeling plank. Either is fun, right? Modify as much as you need. Hold in here in your high plank. Four, for three, two, and one. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. It's your first down dog, just pedal it out. Give yourself a few pedals here. Whew. Just turning our core on, turning our body on. This is our power flow, right? We're gonna work hard, but take as much rest as you need. All right, let's come back into a high plank. Bring your knees back to the mat, find your tabletop position. All right, back in our tabletop. All right, we're gonna bring our knees and ankles and toes to touch again. All right, this time you have two options. You can tuck your toes and put your balls of your feet on the ground. If you wanna try something a little harder, a little more work, point your toes and put the tops of the feet on your ground. This is gonna be a little tough, so pick your option. Either is fine, all right? Knees and ankles and toes are touching, right? And then you're gonna lift your knees up off the ground a couple of inches again. Take a deep inhale and exhale, turn that core on. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Swing your knees over to the left. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, swing them over to the right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the left. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the left. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring them back to center. Step the right foot long and straight. Put the right toes, follow the foot on the ground. Bring the left knee into the chest, hanging plank here. Pressing in round. You'll see a hanging plank again. That's why we're doing it. And then step the left foot back to meet the right. Take a high plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Woo-hoo. Point out your toes. Lower to the belly. Take the right foot. Right leg long. Stretch it out. Put it on the ground. And the left leg long, stretch it out, put it on the ground. Take your fingertips wide, right and left tentum, right? Like little spiders. We'll do a few cobra poses. Let's inhale, roll up. Shoulder blades down the back, low belly's engaged. Keep your pumpkin soft. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Cobra pose, exhale, and down. Inhale, up, cobra, low belly's engaged. Exhale, and down. All right, bring your hands underneath your shoulders a little back, right? Elbows in, tuck your toes. Find your chatter on the prep, right? Tuck your toes, gauge, lift your kneecaps off the ground. Maybe you can press up into a chaturanga and then press up into a high plank. Hold in your chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog. And the hips up and back, downward facing dog. All right, holding here in your downward facing dog. Pedal out, wiggle it out. Whew. All right, let's walk our feet up to meet our hands at the top of the mat. Everybody, let's meet at the top of the mat. Hang here. Maybe grab opposite elbows in a rag doll. 
All right, then release your hands to the ground, press into your feet, inhale your arms all the way up to the sky, exhale your hands over your heart center. All right, let's set an intention for our practice. So we'll find mountain pose in our low body, right? So toes touching, heels slightly separated, or heels, feet can be hip width apart. Find some low body engagement, lengthen your tailbone down, all right? Stack your head over. We will bring our hands over our heart center and sit down by your side. Let's make, take a little bow if you have an intention that you would like to set for your practice. Maybe it's just to have a little peace in the midst of this chaos going on. And now for the time that we have all together on our mats, that we're just gonna focus on the time that we have right here and right now, not everything else that's going on in the world and which we absolutely have no control over at this moment, other than the social distancing that we can do our part today in society. All right, we're gonna have, we're gonna do three sun salutations A and then keep moving. So let's bring our hands down by our side. We're gonna inhale our arms all the way up. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Let's step back to high point for the first one or a kneeling point. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or all the way to the floor. Right? Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward, step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center and down by your side. Two more. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. You can step forward, hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Hold in here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward, step or hop up to meet your hands. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center and down by your side. One more, inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Hold in here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, look forward. Step or hop up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale your heart forward with a flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center and down by your side. All right, we'll make our way into downward facing dog. We'll do our first flow. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Chatter on that or if you're all warm, skip all that. We're all going to meet in downward facing dog, right? So you can do chatter on that up dog, down dog, or just step back into downward facing dog. Do what feels good for you today. All right, bring your left foot to the center of the mat. Inhale your right leg up in a three legged dog. Keep your right hip neutral and even with the left, right pinky toes pointed towards the ground. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right armpit. Gaze is forward. Hold for five, for four. Try to get that right knee all the way up into the armpit. Three, two, and one. Inhale the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, bring the right leg under the body towards the left armpit. Gaze is forward. Try to get it high for five, for four, 
three, two, and one. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bring that right knee into your nose. Find that hanging plank, right? We have that hanging plank, right knee to nose, and then step the right foot in between the hands. Then the back left heel to the mat. Let's come up for your two. Our left arm is back, and our right arm is forward. All right. Our shoulders are stacked over our hips. You should be able to see the big right toe on the inside of that right knee. Holding here. Right fingertips if you can. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, let's take a reverse. Left hand comes down, right arm up. If some of you could take that left hand and find that right hip, either is fine. Still find the front body engagement. Lengthen the tailbone, stretching out the right side of the body. Hold in here for three, two, and one. Come back up, warrior two. Lean forward, find the right forearm on the right quad and the left arm up and over for side angle. If some of you are flexible and want to go a little bit more deep, you can bring the right hand to a block or to the ground. Chest is open, low belly is engaged, tailbone's lengthening to the left heel, right? Holding here, side angle for five, for four, three, two, and one. Inhale up, reverse warrior. Left hand down, right arm up. Straighten that right leg. Give that hip a break. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Come back up. We're taking our triangle pose. So send your hips back and your right arm forward as you lean. And then take your right hand down and your left arm up. So people do it different ways. Traditionally, it's on the outside of the right side of the leg. Some people lasso the big toe, either is fine, right? Please don't place it on your shin because I don't want you to hyperextend that right knee. So find your triangle, holding here, low bellies engaged, gazes up. If you can, or look down if your neck's bothering you or you're having balance issues. Anytime you have balance issues, you just always look down, it helps. Holding here, three, two, and one, you can stay in your triangle or put your left hand on your hip, look down, we're gonna find half moon pose, right? So you come up on the right foot, you bring the right fingertips in front of the right foot and a little bit back, maybe the left arm comes up, left foot is flexed and the toes are pointed towards the left side of the mat, not down. Arch and draw some half moon, holding here or just stay in triangle for five, for four, three, two, and one. Point those left toes slowly, slowly, slowly. Come back to triangle pose. All right. And then put a little bend in the right knee. Come back up to warrior two. Straight the right leg. Parallel your feet to the left side of the mat. All right. So our feet are approximately under our wrists. Our heels are... Hands on your hips, engage your low belly, lift your pelvic floor, inhale your chest up, exhale and fold. Release your fingertips to the mat, walk your fingertips back such that they are aligned with your toes. All right, elbows are in, drop your head, engage your low belly, fold down, engage your quads, lift your kneecaps to keep your hands free and safe. All right, and then maybe the majority of the weight is in the balls of the feet. So holding here, inhaling and exhaling. All right, inhale up with a flat back, fingertips are on the ground, engage your low belly, put your hands on your hips, and then with the flat back, come all the way up to stand. Find warrior two facing the front of the mat, so you're just gonna turn those right toes to the front of the mat. You're gonna put a bend in the right knee, warrior two. You're gonna lean forward and this time you're gonna take the right hand on the outside of the right foot, right on the outside. You're gonna take your left arm forward. You're gonna make this right hand weight bearing and you're gonna bring your left knee up in that hanging side plank, right? And if this is too much for you, 
you can put the right knee on the ground in a supported side plank. Otherwise, I want you to find this awkward side plank. Your shoulders are stacked, right? Your right knee is into your chest. Look up for a challenge, down for a balance. Holding here. Find whatever modification you need. Okay, we're going to take this around onto the left side, but we're going to keep the right knee up if you can, right? So you're going to come, bring your left hand down, roll over that left foot, come to the outside, take the right arm up, keeping that right knee up. Now, if you need to modify, just put the left knee down. It's fine. Nobody cares, right? It's your practice. So awkward side plank. All right. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hanging plank. You're going to bring your right hand down. All right. And you're going to come in, hanging plank, right knee chest, holding here, hanging plank. All right. Holding here, right knee up to your nose. Look between your hands. Step the right foot in between your hands. Nice. Put the left knee on the ground. Come up, Anjaneyasana. All right. So, Anjaneyasana. So, this is our left knee is on the ground here. Shoulder blades are down the back, feet spinning in. Engage your low belly, lift your pelvic floor, lengthen your tailbone to the ground, stretching out that left hip flexor, isometrically pulling your right foot back and your left knee forward. If your arms are up, feet spinning in. Some of you may be able to gaze up, bring your hands to touch, it's optional. Maybe you find a little bit of a back bend. But don't do it in the low back. Finding that low belly engagement. Ajnayasana, holding here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, now bring your hands to the mat. Send your hips back, find a half split. Flex those right toes, lift that right foot towards your right knee. Low belly engage, micro bend in the right knee so you're not hyperextending the right knee. Walk your fingertips forward, half split. This is good for you. Half split here. Holding here, breathing, inhaling and exhaling. All right. Walk your fingertips back, bend in the right knee. All right, find the low lunge. So I want you to tuck the left toes. All right, the left knee is still on the ground. Right, you're framing the right foot. Tuck the left toes. Just lift the left knee up to hover. Lift it up to hover. Listen carefully. Now, you're going to send your hips back over that left knee. It's hovering. Bring your head to your right knee. Nikki did this earlier this week. I love it. It makes you work hard. Stretch your hamstring, right? So you're hovering the left knee. Your hips are over the left knee. Your head is to the right knee. Your right foot is flexed. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Let's hold here for five, for four, three, Two and one. Walk your fingertips forward, low lunge. Take a deep inhale, straighten out that left leg. Exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right at the top of the mat. Forward fold. Woo. Hang here just for a second. All right, press into your feet. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale your hands over your heart center and down by your side. All right, we're going to do all that on the left side. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back. Chaturanga or downward facing dog, right? Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Remember, you can skip anything you want, anytime if it's too much. All right, take your right foot to the center of the back. Inhale, your left leg up to the sky. Keep your hips nice and neutral and even. Left foot is flexed. Left pinky toes are pointed towards the ground. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your left knee into your left armpit. Gaze is forward. Keep it up high for five, for four, three. And one, inhale the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the right, arms and up to the body, gaze this forward for five, for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee in towards your nose. Hanging plank, hold here. 
Take a deep inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Spin the back right heel to the mat. Come up, warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back, all right? Find your warrior two, you should be able to see. Feel a big left toe right on the inside of that knee. Gaze is over the left hand. Holding here. Inhaling and exhaling out of the nose if you can. Whew. All right, take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, reverse, right hand down. Left arm up or right hand around. Grabbing left hip. Open up the left side of the body. Stretch it out. Shoulder blades down the back. Engage the low belly. Look down for balance or if your neck is bothering you. Maybe you look up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Come back up. Warrior two. Lean, lean, lean forward. Side angle pose. Left forearm, left top thigh or to the ground. Either it's fine. Right arm up and over. Shoulder blades down the back. Low belly's engaged. Open the chest up towards the sky. Holding here. One long line from pinky to the, to the right foot. Holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Come back up. Reverse. Straighten that left leg. Give that, that left leg a break. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Come back up. Left arm forward, right arm back. If you need to tick tock the right foot in, we're going to triangle pose. So you're going to send your hips back. Then you're going to lean forward, and then you're going to rotate left hand down, right arm up. So just try to do what you did on the other side. So if your hand was on the outside of the leg or grabbing the toe, try to put a little micro bend in that left leg. Don't hyperextend. Look down if you're having balancing issues up for a challenge. Holding here in your triangle for five, for four, three, two, and one, look down, stay in triangle if you want, or put your right hand on your hip. Take your left fingertips forward of the left foot, lift the right leg off of the ground. Half moon, left fingertips down, right foot is flexed, right foot is facing the right side. Maybe your right arm comes up, it's optional. Sideways or up for a challenge. It's all optional for five, for four, three, two, and one. Point those right toes. Slowly, slowly come back to your triangle pose. Put a little bend in the left knee. Come up, warrior two. Then straighten that left leg. Parallel the feet. All right. Parallel the feet. We're in a wide-legged stance here. Heels out, toes in. Let's go ahead. Bring your hands behind your back and try to grasp your hands if you can. If you need a towel or a belt, grab that. Most of you have that stuff at home, all right? Try to keep the heels of your hands together if you can. Bend your elbows. And then you're going to inhale your chest up. Exhale, fold forward all the way down. And then take those arms all the way up to the sky. All right, stretching out those shoulders. Engage your low belly, right? Micro bend in the knees so you're not hyperextending. Engage the quads, lift the kneecaps to keep the hamstrings safe. Maybe the weight comes into the balls of the feet. Holding here for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, come all the way up to stand. Release your hands. We're going to find warrior two facing the front of the mat. Left toes, warrior two left side. All right, so warrior two left side. All right, remember, we're going to find that hanging side plank. So you're going to lean forward and you're going to rotate. You're going to put your left hand on the outside of the left foot. You're going to take your right arm up if you can, and then you're going to bring that left knee in towards your chest. And if you need to put the knee on the ground, that's fine. Otherwise, try to find this hanging plank, side plank, left hand down, right arm up, lengthen to the heel for five, for four, three, two, and one. Remember, we're going to flip over. We're going to take our right hand down, come over to the outside of the right foot, take the left arm up. Left knee is up, or if you need to put the right knee 
down, that's fine. Hanging plank, side plank, hanging side plank, right hand down, left arm up for five, for four, three, two, and one. Left hand down, hanging plank, bring that left knee in towards the chest, round the back, take a deep inhale, and exhale, take a deep inhale, exhale, step the left foot in between the hands, Put the right knee on the ground. Thank God, right? And then let's come up onto the asana. All right, so you can sink into this. Sink down, arms can be up. If your shoulders are tight, drop your tired, just put your hands on your hips. Nobody cares. It's your practice, nobody can see this. It's automatic, right? All right, so engage the low belly. Lengthen the tailbone down. We can just scissor the legs together. Left leg back, right knee forward here. All right. Maybe you look up. Maybe your hands begin to touch. You can add a little bit of a back bend here if you would like. Hold in here. Cage your little belly. Don't hold it in the back. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands down to the mat. Have splits. Send your hips back over the right knee. Flex the left foot here. All right. Walk your fingertips forward. Left toes are coming towards the left knee. Half splits here. Micro bend, left knee. Stretching out that left hamstring. All right. Ooh, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Walk your fingertips back forward to frame the left foot. Tuck the right toes, just lift the right knee off to hover, all right? And then send your hips back over that right knee, straighten out that left leg. So it's kind of like a floating half split. I don't know how else to describe this. Bring the head towards the left knee, holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Put a bend. In the left knee, walk your fingertips forward, low lunge. Take a deep inhale, exhale, step the right foot up to meet the left at the top of the mat, and fold. Just hold here and fold. Give yourself a little bit of a break. Okay. Put a little bend in your knees. We're going to inhale all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center and down by your side. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to do one sun salutation B and keep going. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through between your hands. Spin the back left heel to the back. Warrior one. Come up. We'll hold this for a few breaths. Shoulder blades down the back, right hip back, left hip forward. For three. And one, take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands come down, step back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Come up, warrior one. Facing the front of your mat, left hip back, right hip forward, hips are neutral to the front, right? They're not open to the side. Holding here for three, for two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands come down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. All right, we'll keep moving. It's going to be a similar flow, but we'll move a little faster because we know it. We'll add a couple more things in, or you can always take a pause and go back to a previous pose. All right, plant your left foot in the center of the back. Inhale, your right leg up. Exhale, just step the right foot all the way in between the hands. Let's come up, warrior two, left arm back. Right arm forward, holding here. Take a deep inhale and exhale. All right, inhale and reverse. Left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, side angle pose, your variation. 
Some of you can bind underneath the right leg. If you can, if it's in your practice, if you don't have it in your practice, do the other version of side angle, right? Chest is open towards the sky, low belly's engaged, head is back, holding here for three, two, and one. Release the bind if you have it. Come up, warrior two, straighten your right leg in reverse, triangle, take a deep inhale, exhale, come back up, triangle pose. Lean forward, right hand down, left arm up. Triangle pose, we did this before, so I don't have to cue it all, just hold it here. For three, for two, and one. Left hand on hip, half moon pose, we were here before. Find your half moon. Right hand down, left arm up, left leg up. Some of you can bend the left knee, reach back, grab the left foot, and find chapasana, right? Find that bond. Engage the low belly, but open up the quad and the shoulder and the upper back. Kick left foot to left hand for three, for two, and one. Release full half moon. Slowly step back into triangle. Come back up, warrior two. Left arm back, right arm forward. Straighten that right leg. Bring your hands on your hips, parallel with feet. All right. Parallel with feet, all right. Inhale your chest up. Exhale, this time, just come halfway down, all right? Everybody just come halfway down. Don't come all the way down and then release your hands right under your nose, right? So you have a flat back, you're not folded. We're gonna twist here. You're gonna plant your left hand right under your nose. Your hips are gonna stay nice and neutral. You're gonna press into your left hand. You're gonna open your chest up to the right. You're gonna take your right arm straight up towards the sky, all right? Low belly's engaged. Hips are neutral, so we got twisting from the center of the back up. Look up if you can. Look down for balance or neck issues. For five, for four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand down, replace the left. Press into the right hand. Engage your low belly. Open the left arm up towards the sky. Find the neutral hips. Look up for challenge. Look down for balance. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down to meet the right. Inhale with the flat back, engage their low belly, lift your quads spine, and get, lift your kneecaps spine, engage your quads, your hands on your hips, and go back. Find your two, facing the front of the mat, right arm forward, left arm back, or your two, all right? Lean, lean, lean forward. Right hand to the outside of the right foot. Left arm up. We're gonna find that hanging side plank. So right knee comes into chest. If you need right knee on the bound, ground is fine. Holding here and hanging side plank for five, four, three, two, and one. Hanging side plank, left side, kind of, right? Right knee up, left hand down, right arm up. Right knee is up. Take a deep inhale, and then everybody step the right foot behind the left. Flip your dog if you can, right? Step it behind, find the back bend, open the chest. Holding here for five. Flip dog, right, four, three, two, and one. Right hand comes up, right hand comes down. Find that hanging plank, right? So right knee in towards your nose. Hanging plank, you're flipping back over, right knee towards the nose, hanging plank. Step the right foot in between the hands, perfect. Put the back knee on the ground, flatten out the foot. Come up, Anjaneyasana again, all right? We were here before. I'm gonna ask you to add a little bit of stuff to this. This is a little hard, so your shoulder blades are down the back, your pinkies are spinning in, all right? The top of the back foot is on the floor. Engage that, engage the core. See if you can lift your left knee off of the ground with the top of the left foot. I know it's hard. You can do it. Hold it here. Lift that left knee up. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Hands come down, knee comes down. Send your hips back, half splits. Flex that right foot. If you have a full split or Hanuman practice and you feel like you can go into that, that's fine. I'm gonna stay in half splits. Some of you can lift, go back, take a full split. That's perfectly acceptable. Hold in here, your full splits. If you're doing full splits, try to keep your hips nice and neutral to the front. Hold in here. All right. If you're in full splits, join us back in half splits. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that tricky transition. We're not gonna move any round anymore this time. You're gonna tuck those left toes. We're all in half splits. You're gonna lift this left knee off the ground and then drop the right head to tap the right head. Drop the only head you have. Most of us only have one head. And then we'll tap our right knee with our right head. Holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Walk forward, low lunge. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, step the left foot up to meet the right at the top of the mat. Inhale, your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands over heart center. We're almost there. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good job. Bring the right foot to the center of the mat. Inhale, your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through between the hands. Warrior two, left arm forward, right arm back. Holding here in your warrior two. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, let's reverse. Right hand down, left arm up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, side angle pose, your version. Right of side angle. Some of you can bind if you want underneath the left leg. If you do that, press and open your chest up towards the sky. Lean back, gaze up, holding here, breathing, holding here. If you're bound, take a deep inhale. Come back up, warrior two, begin to reverse. Straighten that left leg. Find the reverse triangle. Come back up. Left arm forward, right arm back. Triangle pose. Lean forward, left hand down. Right arm up, triangle pose. Holding here for three, two, one. You can stay in triangle or find half moon. Walk those left fingertips forward. Lift that right leg off the floor. Right toes are flexed, pointing towards the side of the mat. Some of you can bend in the right knee and grab the right foot with the right hand, chakasana, holding here. If you've got the bind, kick the right foot into the right hand. Open up the shoulder, open up the quad, engage the low belly, keep the back safe. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Keep holding, inhaling and exhaling. All right, take a deep inhale, exhale, release into full half moon. Step that right foot back, find your triangle pose. Perfect, put a bend in the knee, come up, warrior two. Straighten that left leg and parallel the feet. Woo, all right. Bring your hands on your hips. We're gonna continue to find a little twisting. Inhale your chest up, exhale, fold forward. Now you can fold it around and release your fingertips to the ground. It's fine. All right. You're going to walk both of your hands over to the left side of the mat, to the left side foot, to the left foot. Try to grab your left foot with your right hand. Maybe just grab the leg. Try to grab it. Try to keep your hips nice and neutral. So right hand is grabbing left foot. Take the left hand up and over towards the sky. Maybe the left hand wraps around and grabs the right hip. Twist, lean back, look up. All right, grabbing that foot, low belly's engaged. Try to keep your neck in line with your spine. Holding here for five, for four, three, 
two, and one. Release, unwind. Walk your hands through center. Walk your hands over to the right foot. Over towards the right. Take the left hand. Grab the right foot or the outside of the right side of the leg. Holding here. After that, left hand grabs the right foot. Take the right arm up towards the sky. Maybe right hand comes around and grabs left foot. And then drop into it and lean back. Look up over the right shoulder if you can towards the sky. Keep the neck and the spine all aligned, right? Holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale, exhale, release, and come back to center. All right. Flatten your back. You're all back to center. Realign. Put your hands on your hips. With the flat back, come all the way up to stand. Find warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. All right, warrior two, left side. We're almost there. Lean, lean, lean. Take the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Right arm up. You know where you're going. Hanging left point, left side. Left knee is into the chest or onto the ground. Holding here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Right hand down. Flip over onto the right side. Left arm up. Left knee up. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Step the left foot behind the right leg with your dog. It'll feel good. Stretch out everything you've worked. Chest up, drop the back, the head back for five, for four, three, two, and one. Left hand comes up. Left hand comes down to meet the right. Hanging plank with left knee in towards your nose on the right toes. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Step the left foot in between the hands. Put the right knee on the ground, flatten out those right toes. Come up, Anjaneyasana. Shoulder blades down the back, pinky spinning and holding here. In your Anjanay, or add a little bit of spice. Engage the low belly, power up the legs. Flatten out those right toes. Lift the right knee off the ground. Anjaneyasana, holding here. With knee lifted for five, for four, three, two, and one. Right knee comes down. Hands come down to frame the left foot. Tuck the right toes. All right? And then send the hips back. Half splits. All right? You can keep it here. Some of you can take it into full splits. Either is fine. Know what you feel like doing today and do that. The right knee is on the ground still, whether you're in half or full splits. For five, for four, three, two, and one. If you're in full split, come to half split. Bring your fingertips in. Everybody need a half splits, right? Tuck those right toes if they're not already tucked. Lift the right knee up to hover. Fold forward the head on the left knee. For five, for four, three, two, left knee, walk your fingertips, look forward, step the right foot up to meet the left at the top of the mat, and fold, and hang. You've worked super, super hard. Just hang here, the super hard practice. We're in the home stretch. You're in the home stretch. All right. Press into your feet. Inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale your hands over your heart center and down by your side. All right, let's inhale all the way up. We're gonna make our way into downward facing dog. Exhale all the way down. Inhale your heart forward with the flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. You can do a chaturanga, upward dog, or downward dog, or just meet a downward facing dog. Holding here in your downward facing dog. Look forward at your fingertips. Bring your elbows down to hover off of the ground, right? Bring them down to hover and then see if you can place your elbows on the ground simultaneously. Dolphin pose. 
if you can, one at a time. So your forearms are on the ground now. You're dropping your head, you're looking at your feet. Walk your feet in, maybe a little more dolphin pose. Plant the left foot, maybe the right leg lifts. If this is too much, just put your knees on the ground. It's fine, it's just yoga. Lift that right leg, holding here. Three, two, and one. Right foot down, left leg up. Holding here for three, two, and one. Left leg down, knees to the mat, child's pose. Head to the mat, child's pose. Good job. Walk your fingertips forward in your child's pose. Please don't put your hands down by your side because we still have back bends to do. I don't want your shoulders to think that practice is over. It's not over yet. When your hands come back, your shoulders are like, oh, I'm done. And then you're almost done, but not quite. We got a little back bend, but you can make it. All right, let's come up onto our hands and knees. And then let's make our way all the way down onto our bellies. You can put your chin on the mat or the right and left side of your head. Because I have glasses, I always bring my chin or my nose to the back. Okay, bring your hand back by your side. Let's have our palms facing down. Lift your right leg up, stretch it, set it down. Lift your left leg up, stretch it, set it down. Toes are slightly turned in and your heels are out. Your toes don't have to be touching, but just toes in, heels out. Releases your butt cheeks and your pumpkins, which is good. All right, engage your low belly. Press your hips into the ground. Bring your head to center. Lift your upper body off of the ground. Head and neck that belong, just your upper body, just your chest. And then maybe your feet come up. Maybe your hands come up, Shalabhasana. Holding here. Try to keep your butt cheeks soft. They're gonna wanna squeeze. Toes in, slightly turned in, heels out. It keeps your low back safe. Holding here for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Calm down. If you had a cheek on the mat, put the opposite cheek on. Hold in here. All right, we're gonna do two more back bends. You can stay in Shalabhasana, I'm gonna offer bow pose to you, all right? So bring your head to the center, take a deep inhale, exhale, this time just lift everything up like we did. And if you wanna bend your knees and grab your feet, that's fine, right? And then if you do, you can stay in Shalabhasana, kick. Try to keep your knees and ankles and toes aligned. Try not to let your knees splay out. Kick into your feet. Maybe your toes and heels come together. Maybe not, that's fine. Hold in here. Maybe your toes come together. Keep your butt cheeks soft, your pumpkin soft. For five, for four, three. Kick into those hands and feet, two, and one. Release and come down. If you want a windshield wiper, your legs bend your knees. We have one more back bend. All right. All right. Just remember when you're coming up and down, if you're putting a cheek on the mat, keep switching sides. Just don't always do the same side, right? Okay, let's come back to center. Last one. Get ready for your Shalabhasana. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, come up into your Shalabhasana. Right, stay here. Or bend your knees, grab your feet. Kick into your bow pose. Yanyasana. All right, kick, kick, kick. Chest up. Heels. Knees, ankles, toes, shoulders aligned, head and neck is long, right? Don't uh, bend your neck so much to look up. Look nice and gazing forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Release and come down. Which way for your knees if you need to. All right, Ooh. plant your hands under your shoulders 
Come to the top of your feet. Your feet are hip width apart. Engage your low belly. Press your pelvis into the ground. All right, engage, engage. So it's not in your low back, it's in your upper back. Press into an upward facing dog or cobra. Either is fine. Then flip your toes, send your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. We're in our downward facing dog. All right, you're gonna inhale into a high plank. We're gonna hold here to counteract our back bend, or you can come down to a forearm plank or kneeling plank. But whatever plank you're taking, we're not gonna be here long. I want you to isometrically pull your hands and feet, or elbows and feet, or elbows and knees, and hands and knees into the midline. Feel your core turn on. This counteracts our back bend. Holding here for five, for four, for three, for two, hold it all, hold it all, hold it, 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 hold it. and one, hips up and back, good job, downward facing dog, woohoo. All right, plant your left foot, inhale your right leg up in a three-legged dog, exhale, bring your right knee to your right wrist, all right, and then bring your right ankle towards your left wrist underneath. It might not go that far. Look back, extend the left leg long, put the left knee on the ground. We're going to find a pigeon pose. Nothing fancy, traditional pigeon. Okay, I want your hips nice and neutral to the ground. All right, I want you to try to get the right hip on the ground if you can so it's not hanging in the air. If you don't have a block or a pillow to put on the hip, you can take pigeon on your back. So if you're good with pigeon, I'll do pigeon on the back and I'll show you in a second. Go ahead and walk your forehead down and think right hip back, left hip forward to really feel that right butt cheek relax, okay? I really want you to feel it in the right, the big muscle, that right glute behind that butt cheek. For those of you that this hurts your knees or you can't get your hip on the ground, all I want you to do is swing that left leg around in front, lay down on your back, all right, put your left foot on the ground, cross the right ankle over the left knee, reach through and grab that left hamstring, and then try to keep your tailbone to the top of the head on the ground. So I don't want your upper body pulled up. And then take this right knee, send it towards. So both of those are fine. Whatever feels good to you, I just don't want anything to hurt. All right, that's what I don't want. I don't want anything to hurt. So whatever version you're taking, try to relax. Try to bring your body back to the intention that you set at the beginning of practice. All right, and then take a deep inhale. If you're in pigeon, walk your hands back in on the exhale. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee in on the ground, and then bring your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. If you're in pigeon on your back, you can stay there. All you're gonna do is just switch sides, right? You're gonna bring the right foot down beneath the left and dog, downward facing dog. If you're face down, and then you're gonna inhale your left leg up, you're gonna bring your left knee to your left wrist and your left ankle towards your right wrist and find pigeon on the opposite side. If you're on your back, you're gonna cross your left ankle over your right knee. You're gonna reach and grab that right hamstring and pull it in. All right. Try to get this left hip and butt cheek on the ground so you're not hanging in your joints. I want you to feel it here. I want you to look back on with that leg nice and long. And then you walk, walk your Body down and take left hip back, right hip forward. If you're on your back, you're trying to send your left knee away from you. As you pull the right knee and hamstring in towards you, you try to keep your whole body on your back on the ground. Just feeling that glute stretch out.
right, and then take a deep inhale. Exhale, if you're on your All I want you to do is come on the left hip and swing that right leg on out. All right, if you're on your back, release and everybody just come up to sit. Let's have everybody just come up to sit. All right, sit on your sit zones. Legs are forward, low belly's engaged. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. All right, if you can't grab your feet, just rest your hands on either side, right and left of your, your legs or if you can grab your toes, great, it will be outside of your feet. I just want this to be a relaxing forward fold. Don't hold anything, it's fine. And take a deep inhale, put the flat back, exhale, release. Walk your fingertips back behind you, maybe you bend your knees and bring your feet in so you can slowly and safely come down into your back. I want us to take a few minutes of rest in our Shavasana, right? If you have anything else that you need to do, you can do that now. If you need to add in some gentle back twists, if you want to do like a happy baby, or a waterfall, right, with your feet up. But otherwise, maybe it's hard work. You're just ready for your shavasana, all right? So you're stretching out your feet towards the ends of the mat. Your hands are out facing upward. If you're laying on your back on the ground or on, you know, on your mat and your low back is hurting you, just bend your knees. Walk your feet up and in. Then walk them right and left towards the sides of the mats, and it'll allow your knees to fall in to touch. And that's going to release your low back in your sacrum. It's going to give you a nice release there. And that oftentimes helps if you don't have a bolster to put under your knees. Hi, yogis. We're going to end here. I hope you take a little time to stay in your shavasana and rest. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. The light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in me salutes the light, the love, the joy, the peace and happiness in all of you. Namaste.